What's up everybody and welcome back to Not A Hooks. Uh, we're gonna do some cooking today. A little different than being on the river, but I thought, hey, why don't I share one of my favorite uh, pan fry salmon uh, recipes and let's just get into it, guys. All right, for the ingredients, it's super easy, super basic, super simple. Just olive oil, salt, garlic, and this stuff I got on Amazon. This is uh, Chef Paul Magic Seasoning Blend. This is the blackened Redfish Magic. I'll put links to everything below so you guys can check it out. It's a little bit of lemon and then a salmon of your, your liking. This is about an inch and a half thick, so uh, we're gonna kinda go basically off of that thickness of salmon for the cooking duration. So before we start seasoning our fish, let's just preheat our pan. I'm just using a uh, kind of a shallow cast iron and you're just gonna wanna cover the, the bottom of the pan an eighth inch of oil, so. Every pan's different. You can use whatever pan you want, but I prefer a cast iron myself. So uh, that's preheating. I'm gonna season this guy. There's a couple ways I like doing it. So I'll cut a, a lemon in half and I will put lemon on it and I will put a liberal amount of drops on the top, sides, and even the bottom before I put oil in. One reason for that is it kind of stays in there and once you put the oil on, it kind of locks it in. Okay, easy enough. Then you grab your oil and I just put a liberal amount on there. And what I do is I usually take my hands, make sure your hands are washed and clean and I just get a nice coat of oil all over this guy so that your uh, seasonings have a good coat to everything that you put on there. Once you feel that you've got a, a nice coat all the way around, make sure you even put it on the skin, but get a nice coat all the way around on it. Then you go to your seasonings. All right, first we're gonna salt it. You don't wanna go crazy, but you wanna put a good amount. And like I said, do all three sides that are exposed. Basically salt it like that, okay? Super easy. Grab your garlic and uh, this is gonna be to taste, but I just lightly dust it on all three sides like so. And then for this stuff, this stuff is awesome. I use this stuff for fish all the time. It is an amazing ingredient. You do want to put it on really thick. So when I put it on, I am putting, like you're almost doing a uh, smoked meat or some sort where you put a nice thick bark. You want it to be really nice and thick. So be very liberal when you put this on. I go through this stuff like crazy. I, I'm sure you can see how thick this stuff is on there. And I kind of pat it on there like this. That way it really binds to the surface area. I don't know if you guys can see that, but see how thick that's on there? And this is, like I said, an inch and a half piece of uh, salmon here. And then that is ready to go on to the fryer. So it looks like we're hot. So be careful as you put it in the oil. And it will splatter a little bit. But what we're gonna do is let this thing sit and once in a while kind of poke underneath so that the skin's not sticking to it. And what I find for this thickness of meat, uh, I'm on about a medium high, not, not high, but on the very top end of a medium heat on the stove. And it's kind of tough because everybody's stove's different. Your stove might be hotter or colder at that temperature. So you really gotta monitor the fish. Uh, USDA says that you should be right around 140, but a lot of chefs cook their salmon about 125 to 130. It's more tender that way. That's about the range I cook it, but just letting you guys know that information. So for me, on this thickness, I do a roughly about six to six and a half minutes on the skin side, and then do a uh, seven minute on, on the flesh side. And then I go back for another two minutes so that the top can rest and create that, that crust, which is oh so good. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I flip it over. So let's put the clock on and make sure that we're doing it roughly within that range. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. Uh, if you are kept cooking on cast iron, your skin will turn black. Uh, so just, you know, don't freak out. It's just the skin. Uh, it will do that. It'll be different on the top of the meat. So let's flip it over. See how it's black like that? That's okay. If it's on a different pan, like a stainless steel pan or a copper pan, it won't do that. But cast iron, the skin will turn black uh, from that initial heat. 
So now we flip it over and uh, kind of give it a little wiggle, make sure it doesn't get stuck. And let that sit for another six minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes, so let's give it a little check. Usually I get about six. Oh, that looks so good. Uh, so we'll about one more minute. And then I will do two minutes on this side and two minutes on this side, and it should be done. So we're gonna give this one more minute and then we'll put the sides down for two minutes. Okay, let's check the top. That looks pretty amazing. So now let's go on to the side. Put it on its side here. We'll give that about two minutes on the side. All right, let's flip it on the other side. Here we go. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but man, that looks amazing. Got a nice crust to it, good color. Um, yeah, it just looks great. All right, it's been two minutes on that side, so I'm gonna take this off of the heat. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. And I'll put it on a paper towel. Just let it rest for about a minute, like I said. Turn your heat off and uh, let me show you guys this so you can actually see what it looks like. It is gonna be so yummy. Having that crust all the way around just gives it that amazing flavor. All right, after it's rested for about 60 seconds and you take it off of there, you plate it. And I strongly suggest garnishing with some uh, lemon because take this guy, give it a little fresh, freshening up. Oh, that is going to be amazing, guys. Oh, you can just hear the crust. Oh, that is cooked perfect. It's flaky, it's still tender. Oh my gosh, I gotta try it. Let's just see how it is. You guys are gonna love this, I'm telling you. Amazing. Oh, just try it. You're gonna love it. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think, how it turned out for you guys, what you liked about it. Tell me if you didn't like it. I'm fine with that too. But uh, yeah, I think you guys are really gonna be happy with the results that you get cooking this uh, this kind of way of doing for salmon. But I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys out there on the water.